I'm Valerie Fallon. Who? Valerie Fallon? Yes, darling. I'm Murray's sister. Um, um, is he here? We'd like to see him. Yes, he is here. But I'm afraid you can't see him. You see, he's under heavy sedation, and he must his rest. I can't let two children into the house. I don't even know you. <laughs> Murray might not even know you, for that matter. But we've got cards and cards. He's a friend. Oh, I'll take those for you. Hmm. I'm sure Murray will love these. But for now, you must go. I'm expecting Murray's doctor to arrive. We'll come back later. I wouldn't advise it. You see, Murray is under doctor's orders to have complete rest. He is not to be disturbed at all, especially by two young children. Good afternoon. Mr. Van Ark. Mm. Mr. Van Ark. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Mr. Van Ark. Uh, uh, Dr. Proctor, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's correct. I, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, your sister, um, Ms. Valerie Fallon, let me in while you were sleeping. Oh, yeah, I see. Now. Let's see how you're getting on. I must say it must be a great help having your sister around at a time like this. You, you do remember your sister, don't you? Mm. She has an amazing resemblance mm. to you. Tell you the truth, Doctor, it's just that... Well, the last thing I remember is... ...was waking up in the hospital. It looks like he's coming round. Mr. Van Ark. Mr. Van Ark. Can you hear me? Mr. Van Ark. Where am I? Can't I move my legs? Now, now, you must not worry, Mr. Van Ark. Yes, Doctor. You've had a very severe blow to your head during the Knott's Lifeline earthquake. Yeah. And you must remember that the trauma of that is only psychological, Mr. Van Ark. Yeah. You can get better. Simply a case of mind over matter. Does that mean I'll be able to walk again, Dr. Proctor? I hope so, Mr. Van Ark. We are a little worried at the time it's taking for your paralysis in the legs to alleviate. But I think I have a therapy that we're going to try. It's a combination of a number of drugs. Um, I think we can clear this matter up. Yeah, I hope so. I'll give these to your sister, and she'll administer them. I'm sure you'll see an improvement in a very short time. Thanks, Dr. Proctor. Don't worry, Mr. Van Ark. We're in very good hands. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be well taken care of. Oh, I'll take care of him, Dr. Proctor. You've got no need for concern there. Come through. Excellent. Now, 
I have here Mr. Van Ark's medication. Oh, first name, Doctor. We see you as such a friend. My name's Valerie. But my friends, they call me Val. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, back to the medication. Uh, Valerie. Uh, I have here the dosage instructions for your brother. Uh, they must be followed explicitly. Remember, these are very dangerous drugs. Dangerous? Indeed. Extreme measures are required for extreme cases. Like your brother's wife. Oh, Doctor, I'll do anything. And I mean anything to help poor Murray on the road to recovery. I know one thing, I need my brother. Oh, the fickleness of fate. Not to have seen him in so long. And then, when I do, to see him as a broken, wounded animal. I vow I'll take care of poor Murray. From now on, it's just me and him. See? He has no one else, Doctor. No one at all. Anyway, I'm forgetting myself. It looks like you need a nice cup of Earl Grey tea and one of my homemade scones. I've been baking, you see. For when Murray recovers. You won't say no, will you, Doctor? How could I possibly refuse such a charming invitation? Oh, Dr. Proctor, I think both Murray and I are very lucky to have you as our physician. Thank you, Dr. Proctor. Thank you.